Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Learn to Code with Aditi. So today I am going to write the code and also explain the algorithm for this extra long factorials problem which is there in problem solving section of HackerRank. And I am going to write the code in Java. So basically the motive of solving this problem was to introduce or to explain the concept of big integers. Because this question asks us to calculate factorial of very large numbers like more than 20 whose value cannot be stored even in a 64 bit long long integer variable. So this question also recommends us to use big integers to solve this problem. So big integer is a class in Java which dynamically assigns memory to the variable. It is available in Python and Ruby also. But if we are writing the code in C and C++ then we have to write additional code for that. So let's go and write the code. We can initialize this kind of class or variable using two ways that is first one is this one big integer and then in string notation one or any other number with which you want to initialize that variable or there is another way using big integer class that is big integer dot value of and then in bracket you can write one this time int notation only so for now i am using that new big integer one notation now the same old loop method for int i equals to one or two you can take directly because there is no point of multiplying the number with one then i should be less than equal to n and then i should increment by 1. Now again this big integer variable equals to big integer. Now we cannot directly multiply it with i. We have to use a function called multiply which is there in big integer class and then we are going to convert this i into a big integer itself via this one dot value of i and then after the processing of this loop we are going to return this big integer uh, no we don't have to return it we have to print it so system dot out dot print ln and then this big integer Let's go and run the code. Sample test cases are clear. Now let's submit the code. And all test cases are clear. So if you found this video helpful then please go like subscribe my channel and let's meet in the next hacker rank challenge.